Okay, so here we are. We are joining a cruise ship today, the PO cruise ship Azura, and we are looking for our parking space. I'm just going to be stopped here for the time being, so she's going to tell us. Hello there. Hello. Hello. Uh, so we're sending everyone to gate 10 because gate 8 is currently closed. Okay. Uh, turn around here, first exit off the roundabout, yep. straight down there, not very far at all. Lovely, thank you very much. Cheers. So there you go. Satnav was taking us to gate 8 and we are being redirected to gate number 10 because gate 8 is closed. But that's cool. Um, we've been uh, around here before. So first of all, let me show you this. We are given this pass. When we get to the car park, we have to show that and keep it in the car. Because we paid for parking. We've paid we? for parking. It's yeah. cost us £37 for two days because we're only on a two night cruise. This is a taster cruise on the PO ship Azura. Um, and what we're doing is we're going to follow the signs now into gate 10 so we can show you what it's like when you're coming in to park at Southampton docks if you're going to go on a cruise. So we're down the main drag at the moment along West the docks. Key, isn't it? It's called West Key. And uh, we're just going to look for the sign for gate 10 and then head towards there. So we'll come back again very shortly once we get a bit closer and we can show you what's going on. Okay, here's the first sign we've seen, dock gate 10. So we're going to trundle up here and do a left. And um, I'll tell you what's gonna happen when we get around the corner. A bit of indication going on there, around the corner. And here we go, it looks like it's the Associated British Ports again, so yeah, they're bringing us in via a different route. So dock gate 10, we're coming in via. And this is the Mayflower Terminal, This isn't is it? the Mayflower. We're going from the Mayflower Terminal uh, in Southampton. Um, so it looks as if we've got to hit this roundabout and do a right, looking at the sign that's on the left-hand side of the gate there. I do like the gates, they're very yeah, old. Yeah, very right? old fashioned, Sort of 1920s, 19... Yeah, I'd almost say, yeah. yeah. Sort of almost Titanic type times. Shh, don't mention if that, I... we're ever going on a big ship. <laughs> I know. Yeah, but there you go. So we're coming up now to this big roundabout and you can see it says there Mayflower Terminal and underneath there is a sign there for the cruise ship that we're going on which is called the Azura. So we're going round here and we're going to follow the road round and try and find the parking space and uh, again we'll come back to you soon. Okay, if you look over there to the left, that's the ship we're going on. Wow, Yay! really excited. How exciting. Uh, it's the P&O Azura, and uh, there she is. She's a big girl. And we could do a blog on that as well, aren't we? Yeah, we'll try and fill you in what it's like getting on board and uh, look at the cabin, but that's where we're going. We've, we're joining up with some friends, uh, two <laughs> couples. It's going to be a messy weekend, isn't it? <laughs> it is. Uh, and really looking forward to it. So now it seems that we're in the queue for the parking, which is good. But again, once we get a little bit closer, we will come back to you. Okay, so here we are. This is our cruise ship. There she is, P&O Azura. We're coming up to the Mayflower Cruise Terminal. So really excited. Um, just to let you know though, we're not due to board. Our boarding time today is 3.30. It's now 20 to two. But obviously it, it makes sense looking at the fact that we're queuing up with everybody else to park the cars. Just makes sense that just get here a little bit early, give yourself some time, you haven't got the panic, you can get parked, get your luggage hand over and then get checked in and get on board. So at the moment we're not in any panic, we're just sitting here in traffic. Slightly frustrated because we want to get on board and explore and, and see what we can do. And this obviously is a tin tent of a different tour. It certainly is. So this is a bigger tin tent, uh, it's not in a field, it's going to be on the ship. But we're going to be in this tin tent for two nights, which is absolutely fabulous. So we're going to uh, carry on getting through the parking and then we're parked up or, or something else happens, we'll invite you back in and we can have a look to see how we deal with it. So we haven't moved much further, but we are moving slowly, coming up to the Mayflower Cruise Terminal. Um, 
not sure which way we're going when we get here. It'll either be left or right, so we'll be directed. But not long now, is it, Mrs. T? No. Do we actually get somebody to take our car? Or I'm not sure, because it says in the instructions, cruises of two days and less, we may have to park up. But I'm not sure we may be in valet parking. So we'll find out when we get there. Okay. But if it is valet parking, for 37 quid for the two days or three days, I think it's quite uh, yeah. quite decent really. But we'll see uh, when we get there. In yes, fact, it's, it's just starting to rain. Oh, so I'm just gonna stick the old windscreen wipers on. We have been promised by the BBC website, <laughs> by the time we set sail at five o'clock tonight, 5.30, the sun will be out. So we should be able to sit up on deck have a cocktail with our friends when we set sail. Okay, back in a right, we've arrived at the terminal. We are now in the final queue for the valet parking. Uh, I think our row is next. And what will happen here is we will drive up to the terminal and then we will hand our keys over to the valet and they'll give us a receipt for it, which we will present when we get back and they'll give us the keys and tell us where our car is parked and then we will drop our bags off into the terminal. We won't show dropping the bags off in this video because we're going to do a checking in video and boarding video of getting on board. And uh, that's it. And uh, oh, windscreen wipers, it's getting a bit more. So um, as soon as we've checked in, we'll just have another quick word. Well, as soon as we've checked in with the valet, we'll have a quick word and then uh, we'll finish the video. But yeah, we're nearly there. Right then, here we go. We're coming down the last lane for parking. There's a man down here that is going to uh, take our keys off him and that will be that. We then get out of the car and we go and check in into the terminal there. How exciting, mm. nearly there. Nearly. And uh, thanks for watching, um, but we'll come back to you again in a second. Thank you, Jeff. Right, that's it. Hope you really enjoyed the video. We're now going to hand the keys over and uh, out of privacy, we're not going to show this uh, man, but uh, catch the next video because that will be boarding the P&O cruise ship Azura. And then we can see uh, what we can do. So thumbs up, please, if you have uh, felt that was quite informative. Hope you have, because it just shows you what to do when you're coming to park, when you're coming away on the cruise. And please, please, please hit that red button, see what we did there, and subscribe, because the more of you that subscribe, the more of this type of thing we can bring you. So thanks very, very much for watching again, and bye for now.